So this video is the first part of population for IB geography on global patterns and classification of economic development. So basically what you have to know are just the classifications. Um, these are the ones from 2019, but um, like the values of, you know, like the amount of dollars per capita, but you should just have a rough idea of what they each are. So low income countries are a country with a GNI per capita of $1,026 or less, such as Chad in Ethiopia. Middle income countries are countries with a GNI per capita of more than 1026 but less than 12025 so those are countries like Mexico and Iraq. And then finally, high income countries are countries with a GNI per capita above $12,275, such as Germany and the USA. And between each of these kind of categories are lower middle and upper middle countries. And something else you kind of have to know are the global patterns in general of economic development. So here's a diagram from the World Bank in 2017 um, showing us that the high income countries are US, Canada, most of um, Western and Central Europe, Australia, Saudi Arabia, Japan, for example, and there's a few more if you can see. And then some of the upper middle income countries are the kind of light orange color. So China, Libya, Brazil, Mexico, and then lower middle income would be the kind of lighter shade of blue. So India, Myanmar, Indonesia, Sudan, Bolivia. Finally, you have the low income countries and those are kind of centralized around Africa. And there are a few, there's also Afghanistan, there's North Korea. Um, yeah, so kind of just be aware of where the general patterns are. So a lot of the, how, uh, a lot of the higher income countries are kind of the North American and European regions and as, as well as Australia, obviously. And then a lot of the kind of low income countries are centralized around Africa and some of um some parts of asia so yeah just have an awareness of the kind of global spread of um, different economic development 